You found this funny. Now, what is a plural prank? It's a sister group to the nudipranks, and together they belong to the gastropods, and the gastropods belong to the mollusks, together with cephalopods and clams and other groups. Now there is more. Look at this hermit crab. This is not a particularly rare organism, but what a beautiful face it has! This beard. And where does it live? Well, in a muck diving site and there is a bottle. I'm not even sure what was in this bottle. Maybe some kind of soft drink. And in any case, in the muck habitats, in the soft bottom habitats, a lot of animals really cling to any kind of structure. So whether there is a old piece of wood or a piece of human trash like this bottle is, animals really gravitate to that. So this gives this odd situation that of course we don't want to see trash in the ocean. But nevertheless when there's trash there's usually animal life. It's much better of course to have a glass bottle. Glass is essentially a, a mineral and which was just formed by humans uh, than having plastic or any other kind of harmful materials in the ocean. Nevertheless, it's on the one hand a bit unsightly, on the other hand, you know, this is just the state of planet Earth in 2025, that in any habitat you have, there will be human artifacts. And, you know, it's, we really have to be glad that we have human artifacts, which are as harmless as this bottle. So this was something like 15 meters deep, seen during a night dive. Of course, you know, people would do these dives in these submersibles to the Philippine Trench, which is 10,000 meters deep. And they would see plastic trash, human trash there. So really, it's time to be a little bit more uh, careful with our environment. Obviously, I'm preaching to the converted here, but it's just so striking how the planet, at, even if you go diving in the middle of nowhere at night, you will see human artifacts. Lots of more crabs here. These crabs are really interesting animals in that they're, they're very easily scared. And they come out at night, and so they don't like my video light, of course, so they hide in the sand. And when I film them, they're, they're fascinating animals. I usually only get a couple of seconds because then they decide, well, you know, I don't like that. I don't like light and I'm going to dig myself into the sand. Uh, only the eyes are looking out uh, to see if I'm gone. A few more fish from the two or three dives during which I filmed this footage. In the muck you have these predators like these lizard fish hanging out, you know, highly camouflaged. They're not moving much. This one is exercising its jaw and it's escaping my presence. What are they looking to eat? Well, uh, small fish like cardinal fish and these gobies. Uh, this, I believe, you know, thanks to friendly people on the internet, is a Haseos, and this might as well be also a gobi of the uh, genus Haseos. What's interesting about this one, this is something I don't see a lot, is that this gobi was active at night. So normally fish and, you know, gobies are 
usually diurnal fish are active during the day not this one so so much to find out still thanks for watching